everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Karina and in today's video I want to bring to you some of my journaling essentials with 2022 right around the corner I know that a lot of people are looking at New Year's resolutions and how they can motivate themselves to get organized I know I use journaling for creating lists um, drawing pictures sometimes mind mapping um, writing down my emotions literally you name it and I have used a journal for it it really stems all the way back to when I was younger and I kept a diary I really really feel like it's something that has allowed me to express my emotions and also to get to the level of organization that I believe that I have so if you want to know how to get started in journaling just some quick tips then go ahead and keep watching so journaling is not something that you just add on to the list of things that you're trying to get into. It's really whatever you put in it is what you get out of it. And I think that the first thing you need to get started with journaling is obviously a journal. So I have a ton of different books that I use for different things. This one I got from Target. Um, actually, I got a lot of these from Target. I got this one from Target. This one is an older one that I used to keep my workouts in. I believe I might have got this this one from um, like a Hobby Lobby or a Michaels and then this one I also got from Target so obviously I don't write in all of these books some of them do have different purposes right now I am currently into this one and it's just a regular lined notebook honestly I think one of the biggest things that you need to get into journaling is um, a book or something that you're gonna write in so I am very extra I enjoy really pretty things and um, having a journal that I feel like reflects my personality or the vibe that I'm going for at the time is really what motivates me and drives me to write in it so I definitely would say to find a book that you're obsessed with whether it be from Target Amazon Walmart the dollar store it doesn't matter if you love it you can write in it and you'll be able to invest your time into it my next tip for getting into journaling is another really easy one and that's just find some pens that you love and that you can enjoy these are some of my favorite ones this is a paper mate gel pen like I said I'm very extra I like to doodle I like really thin lines I like colorful pens so having a really good pen and a fun pen honestly can sometimes just push you to write if you're like myself and you just like to look at your own handwriting I would definitely say invest in some of that nicer stuff stationary because it will push you to write. My third tip for getting into journaling is to figure out what exactly you are using your journal for. There are so many different types of ways that you can journal or take notes. You have bullet journaling, diaries, there are journals that have prompts in them. Um, like I said, I use a lot of mine for lists and maps and I think the really cool thing about books that are structured like bullet journals is that you have that freedom to create whatever sort of layout that you want i've seen so many tiktoks of people setting up bullet journals and i'm honestly obsessed with watching how aesthetic people can make these things and like i said you really get out what you put in when you're journaling and the layout is something that you don't have to be locked into you can change them up and use them for whatever purpose you want if you're getting into journaling for your mental health and to keep track of your thoughts and emotions, I definitely recommend getting into a routine. Sometimes I like to take a bath and journal before bed. If you have the time in the morning, you can set a little routine where you make your coffee or you're drinking your water and you're doing your daily affirmations or your gratitudes. Really setting a routine for yourself also gets you excited and it lets you look forward to writing in your journal for that. Day. And my last tip for getting into journaling is really to just shape your mindset. So like I said, it really is just a notebook. You literally get out of it what you put into it. If you want it just to keep track of your to-do list, do that. If you want to make it your you know, emotional safe space, then do that really looking at it as something you get to do instead of something you have to do can transform the way that you incorporate journaling into your life. So these were just some of the tips and essentials that I had for you when thinking about getting into journaling. I really found that journaling has helped me keep track of my emotions and I'm very type A and a really big planner so being able to keep track of all my lists and everything like that in one place has been so helpful for me. Sometimes you want 
to have a space that's not a planner to do those sorts of things and i definitely recommend that if you're looking for something to get you more organized that is not as strict as getting a planner that's dated and you know makes you feel obligated to write in something every single day otherwise you're wasting your money then just get into journaling so if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already and i will see you in the next one